All right, y'all, what's up, hammies? Today, we are back with another Board City magazine. And you know what that means? You know what that means? You know what that means? I know what it means. Let me tell you what it means. It means some a little bit of shade, uh, some, 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 some great content, and some very, very valuable information that I didn't even know that I needed, but I need it. You know what I'm saying? Board City magazine has a nice place in my heart. So, hey, if you don't like Board City magazine, I don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. It's up. It's up and it's stuck. But at the same time, we're about to watch why the boy band hiatus does not apply to BTS. I'm going to let y'all know this right now. When I first heard that they were going on a hiatus, I thought they were literally going to be like just silent until like 2025 or until whenever they was like finna come back. I didn't know they were going to start doing solo projects. I didn't know they were going to start doing brand deals, ambassador deals, uh, everything under the sun. Like I thought they were literally going to take a break. Like when, you know, like when I take my mental breaks, I disappear unless I'm on like Instagram or in the comment section. I thought they was going to do something like that. That's not what happened. So let's watch Boris City Magazine explain to us why the boy band hiatus does not apply to BTS. And one more thing. Actually, no. This video was brought to you by Sebastian's Patreon. <laughs> hey, sorry, not sorry to bother you, but I have something very very important to tell you as you know i have a patreon and now it's being upgraded per se it's thick now like wano thick there are now three tiers i'll put the descriptions of all the tiers on the screen pause if you would like to read it it's time to lock in and by lock in i mean every week we'll have a post i'm just saying if i was you i would definitely go over to the patreon and check it out because i'm giving back so, yeah. If you would like to support the channel and the community, head over to my Patreon and tell me how you like it. Thank you for everything. Now, let's get back to the video. Let's let's go. We're going to be talking through this video anyway. So, let's get straight into it. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's about One Direction. In 2015, One Direction, the biggest boy band at the time, announced that saying one of its five members was leaving the group because he wanted to be a normal 22-year-old who is able to relax and have some private time out of the spotlight. I'm going to keep it deep. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it a stack. I was not a one I was not a one directioner. I wasn't a part of that uh those type of fandoms thing. I wasn't a boy band type of person. The only boy band that I was actually like tapped into for real for real was probably Big Time Rush. That's because of the show. That's that's pretty much it. But or mindless behavior because all the girls I liked in school liked mindless behavior. So I low key wanted to be a uh, rock royal. But hey, that's or Princeton. But that's besides the point. Um, yeah. So yeah, I like Zayn. Zayn is Zane, Pillow Talk is. Y'all, y'all need to. Mm. There's something that y'all need to. That need y'all need to watch. Uh, this is a video y'all need to watch. It's Tyler the Creator Pillow Talk remix where he's like in front of that big Coke bottle, and he's like playing the mm. music. I love it. Sorry, let's go. Saying also said, I know I have four friends for life in Louis, Liam, Harry, and Niall. I know. And Harry just went in. Harry went ballistic. Off this hiatus, Harry went ballistic. Like, bl ooh. They will continue to be the best band in the world. But what happened next was the complete opposite. Saying did not continue a normal life. Instead, he debuted as a soloist. One Direction, now a four-member group, continued their planned tour without Saying, released their oh. promised follow-up album, and announced that they were going on an indefinite hiatus. Ooh. You're taking a year-long break. Would you a year off? Uh, you're not going to be out years and years out. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Let's I give didn't. it 18 months. It's been more than okay. eight years oh. since One Direction's hiatus. Them niggas lie. <laughs> time in which the members have revealed how they really feel about each other and the group. For Liam, the One Direction members were more co-workers than actual friends. You know, mm. the day the band ended, I was like, thank Lord for that. And I know a lot of people are going to be mad at me for saying yeah. that, but I needed to stop Ooh, or it so. would kill me. Saying, saying hey, actually... I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm going to keep it a stack, like, if that's what it if that what it takes for you to stay like sane, you know what I'm saying? Do it. If that's what it takes for you to stay sane, I say do it. Why is the blue light on? Why did that just blind me? I can't even turn it off. So we're just gonna live with this for a second. Zane says he never really wanted to be in the band. That's wow. Oh my god. He left the group because he was unhappy with the group's musical direction and mm. his inability to put any input in and said that One Direction's music was generic. After Ooh. Zane left, he had public arguments with Louis on Twitter and recently... 
Jesus, for God, you were such an in-demand producer. How does it feel to be riding on the back of someone else's career? Remember when you had a life and stopped making bitchy comments? <laughs> Louis revealed that he really thought their hiatus was going to last a year or two, and that's why he took the longest to start his solo career. In mm. recent years, the tension between the members has cooled down a lot. They now seem to be more respectful towards one another, but the okay. idea of a reunion seems highly unlikely, since they've confessed that they don't really talk to each other anymore, and we they're don't all very focused anymore. on their solo careers. We but this whole anymore. indefinite hiatus lie has left some kind of trauma on fandoms and pop culture. Really? Although it's hard to admit it, One Direction is not on an indefinite hiatus. They actually disbanded in 2016. This Damn. is why when the current biggest band, BTS, announced that they were going on a temporary rest from group activities, many who don't really know BTS's story instantly assumed that history was going to repeat itself. Many Damn. Wow. Many said that BTS Millennials going through Destiny's Child hiatus, Gen Z going through the One Direction hiatus, Generation Alpha going through the wow, wow! I did had no idea about that. Yes, is going on the quote-unquote hiatus that One Direction went through, and that they are not actually coming back. And whenever a BTS fan says that BTS <clears throat> is actually coming back because they said they will, many respond this exact same phrase. That was what One Direction said. Indefinite, <laughs> indefinite hiatus, man. Do you know what that means? One Direction. Fuck you, H three H three. I don't like this nigga. I'm gonna keep it. Hey, I'm sorry. I I don't fuck with this dude at all. Hey, this not gonna go on a rant, but if you like H3H3 or Ethan Klein, listen, I respect you, but I don't fuck with that nigga, bro. He's gone a long way of... Ooh, I don't even care if this gets me in trouble. If you make a video about me, I don't give a fuck. He don't even do research on his videos. He's like me, <laughs> but he's been here for like 10 plus years. I don't like that nigga. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, da, 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 da. Whatever. Direction is still on. An yeah, exactly. You know what a definite yeah. hiatus a means? Uh, reminds me of One Direction. P.S. They never did get back together. But BTS's story as a group and as individual artists, as well as the inevitable circumstances and reasons as to why the BTS members are on arrest, are completely different nice to gun. One Direction's. And this frantic reaction by the media and the general public say a lot about how One Direction destroyed the true meaning of hiatus by pretending because they to lied. be friends and giving false hopes to millions of young fans. Mm. On the other hand, there is multiple evidence that can convince even the biggest skeptic that a BTS comeback will happen. There is even a contract and an approximate date of when this will happen. Yep, and it's there you not go. too far away. Yep. Yeah. It's not a dirty word in K music. Okay. I feel like, bro, I feel like hiatuses are, are it's supposed to, you're supposed to have those. Nigga, you can't be, Slim, you can't be working your ass off for like 10 years and you taking no breaks, nigga. You're gonna die. You're gonna die working. You're gonna die working hard. Like, you need to take breaks. You have Probably to. the biggest mistake of Western media and the general public is treating BTS as a Westerner who follow ah. the Western rules of music and pop culture. Because in Korea, if a music label and the members of a group say hiatus, it actually means hiatus. This is especially true because hiatus are not very common in K pop. But these bandments are. Mm -hmm. So music labels and groups don't really oh, have any one. to give false hopes to fans because every year dozens of groups disband and Jesus. dozens of groups debut. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, bro. God damn, these goddamn groups. Hey, I see XG. Yeah. <laughs> and it's common for the performers part of a disbanded K pop group to re debut either as a soloist or as part of another group. Disbandment is not a word that groups avoid. However, it's true that BTS is different from these K pop groups because they are some of the biggest artists on the planet, and their disbandment or hiatus would be news around the world as a negative thing. And that was what happened. Yeah. Yes, are going on hiatus. The boys of BTS are headed in different directions. BTS headed in different directions. They're going on a hiatus to focus on their solo careers. I don't know if I think they're gonna come back. BTS just revealed some major news and it's not smooth like butter. Like maybe it's I did not like that. It's time to move on. The K-pop supergroup broke hearts around the world, announcing they're going to take some time to focus on solo projects. Their management says it's not a hiatus, so kind of sounds like it. I mean, I mean, I guess all good things must come to an end, right? So to Bitch? translate, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's rude. What? <laughs> I think of what?
The idea, tainted by One Direction, BTS and their label had to go out of their ways to reassure global fans and the general public that their rest from group activities actually means rest from group activities. Okay, well since we gotta, since we gotta, uh, you know, since we gotta, you know, blame somebody, One Direction, it's your fault. Y'all did this. It's your fault. I'm joking, of course, but it's your fault. It's like, no, I'm sorry. There are many reasons why BTS's and One Direction's hiatus are different, but here's one. For One Direction, it was a decision. For BTS, it was unavoidable. Whether the BTS members wanted it or not, it's mandatory for every Korean man to enlist in the military for 18 months. So BTS okay. planned to announce in 2020 but, yeah. that they were about to serve their mandatory military service and going into a two-year rest in very careful ways because the hiatus stigma that One Direction left in fandoms was too big to simply say that they were going on a hiatus because no one would actually believe their words. This is why BTS prepared a lot of special content in 2019 and 2020 to promise their fandom army and the media that a comeback after their enlistment will happen, including promoting their album Map of the Soul 7 as their biggest and closing project of their first chapter as BTS. Many songs from this album were past BTS BTS songs reimagined. They plan to promote this album with a massive global tour. They also said goodbye to 2019 by revisiting their old eras and Aww. performing their old songs in award shows. Aww. They also plan to release their Korean anthology album Proof and their Japanese anthology album The Best as projects that mark the first of many chapters. And they also said that BTS's chapter 2 was about to start. We believe that this words opens the beginning of our new chapter but all of this is just the reward to fans and their artistic projects what can actually convince even the biggest skeptic that they will come back is their brand new seven year contract to continue being part of bts under their label big hit music ah. they also plan and did end up releasing statements on how important and meaningful it was for them to re-sign with their label for seven more years this could work as a promise to fans the media and the skeptical general public that Fuck they will you. come back. It's not just their word. They literally have a contract to prove it. But the BTS law happened, burying the news of the BTS contract renewal. Ah, uh, BTS ga 청년층들을 <laughs> 대표하고 있고 또 청년층도 부 Jin is currently in the military and the other members are scheduled to go in the next 12 months. From K-pop supergroup BTS, Jin, the eldest member, has enlisted in the South Korean army because Korean men are required to enlist in the military by age 28. But everything that is happening right now was supposed to happen in 2020. Their announcement of a temporary rest from group activities and their military enlistment was supposed to start at the end of 2020, not at the end of 2022. But all of these plans were shattered because of COVID-19, which canceled all their concerts. Okay, so pretty much what I'm saying, I'm joking, by the way. So pretty much what I'm saying is COVID fucked everything up and so did One Direction. Okay around the world cool. and the big promotions Great. they had planned for their last album of chapter one it seemed like this could have been a bittersweet see you later because although they had a new bts contract all their big plans were cancelled but what many were not expecting was that the government was about to release a new law that lets global artists like bts to serve their military mandatory service at age 30 instead of age 28. This new law was nicknamed the BTS law because they are the only ones who meet the challenging criteria. Thanks to this law, BTS didn't have to go to the military for two more years. Mm. During this time, BTS released a pandemic album, a trilogy of English songs, collaborations, and their chapter one Korean anthology album, which was supposed to be released alongside their Japanese anthology album. They Pretty much what they said, they just started shitting on everything. It just started just start dropping everything. They, they were supposed to take a hiatus. They just started going crazy. <laughs> also had their permission to dance tour. After I all of there, this, I BTS there. announced that they were taking a rest from group activities because they are going to the military. But two years after the announcement of the renewed seven-year contract passed and the general public is not aware that it exists. This is how the confusion hey. started. Hey. This is why many think they are not coming back, despite there being a contract that says they will. That's kind of funny. Like, it's a whole contract that says, y'all, we coming back. And some people are like, they're not coming back. Fuck the contract. As if, like, that's not legally binding. Like, nigga, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. The members said that they renegotiated their new BTS contract and they consulted these new terms with their parents and big hit executives. Hey. This is why their current solo projects are still considered BTS projects. For example, all the members have their own personal Instagram accounts, but their label doesn't manage these accounts. Hey. Their management only has access to BTS's group account. This is why the members' individual promotions, although they are considered solo projects, are still published on BTS's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and mm -hmm. other social media platforms. Whenever they have collaborations, it's always attributed to a member of BTS. If it's Jimin, it's Jimin of BTS. If it's Suga, it's Suga of BTS. If it's Jungkook, it's Jungkook of BTS. That's far. I go by the name of RM of BTS. I'm Jay Ho BTS. 안녕하세요, BTS입니다. The members. One thing about that I do take note in is like that when it comes to like titling videos, I see I kind of get conflicted because I don't know if putting, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if putting like, you know how like sometimes we watch a video, the title will say, say a uh, BTS gym or it will say like G idol mini or it'll say some shit like black pink jenny like it's something like that and it's like is this a is this a way to get more clicks or is that what is supposed to be said like is that what the title is supposed to be or is like say like the difference between bts rm versus rm of bts like sometimes i'll be having that mental battle in my head and i'll just be like and then i'll just have like the fucking moment i'll just be like okay i'm just gonna put this but at the same time, it's like, is that what's supposed to, like, is that the right way to go about it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Are also considered solo artists on the streaming platforms. But if you go to their physical album's credit page, it still says BTS because their solo albums are still BTS's projects in a way. This mm -hmm. is not what happened with One Direction. When One Direction announced their hiatus, their contract ended and they all signed to different labels as soloists. Oh, so you will never see One Direction's official page promoting their solo albums. And you will never see a Harry Styles song being promoted as a song sugar. by Harry of One Direction because the members are now completely independent from each other. They're Another question. Sorry, let me let you finish. The contract with One Direction and their label cycle ended on 2016. But with BTS's hiatus, a new BTS contract started. This is why it can be frustrating for armies when the media or people who don't know anything about BTS or their story in the music industry instantly assume that BTS broke up and they are never coming back. BTS even gave an approximate date of when they are coming back. And the younger members are basically going to the military earlier than they should be, just so they can return as a group as soon as possible okay so okay so one thing i wanted to say um maybe the confusion is because the approximate date says around 2025 it's not as set in stone that probably some people would probably like take it out of take it out of context like you know you know when you say like oh i'm coming home around 8 30 you come home you come home at nine like it's like it's up for interpretation i could that could probably be one thing another thing do y'all think that the Western civilization is all about individualism and all this other individual, all this other, the, 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 it's about me, 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 me over in the Western side. Like this, this, is the, this is the concept, this is the ideals we have, this is how we move, this is our lifestyle, is individualism, which would explain Harry Styles being Harry Styles and not Harry Styles of One Direction. Aside from over in Asia or let's say Eastern countries who are, to my knowledge and to what I've learned in school, who are more a part of the group and the whole the whole culture rather than individualism. You know what I'm saying? It could just be like an extension of that, maybe. That's what I would I would probably try to put my brain around that sentiment, which will make like, y'all, we are a group, we're a team, nigga, we are a culture, we are a family, we are this. Anything you do is an extension of us. You represent us. You you are pretty much a limb of us. I hope that's a good, you know what I'm saying? I hope that's a good, what's it called? Like, th that would make the most sense to me. If I'm wrong, please let me know. I don't know. Are they doing too much? BTS have schedules as a group program for 2030, leaving the question to many. Are they being exploited? Do they actually want to leave the group and become soloists like One Direction? You want me to, you want me to be completely honest? I want to talk to you on your face. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, 
everything is getting exploited. I believe everything is getting exploited. Everything is getting used for a bigger picture, obviously. But that doesn't make it malicious that it's getting exploited. You know what I'm saying? To me, I don't I don't know how much of a buzzword is exploited. Um, you know, like think of it like um like okay, so when I think of BTS getting exploited, I think of the plan that Bang PD had for whatever plan he had. And he used, you know, the people he used to create this big ass thing that it's bigger than just you know what I'm saying that it's bigger than say K-pop or bigger than just the, the the minute thing of just music you know what I'm saying it's bigger than everything that in terms of exploitation would make it less malicious on the other hand for me what my what my brain went to is like you know how like um does anybody know like uh, in movies like the black exploitation and stuff like that in terms of using and tell me if I'm wrong if I'm wrong but using using black folks or black culture or black whatever music whatever as a way to take from and use okay black exploitation to me is taking from black culture and using it for the benefit of non black culture that's what I think black exploitation to me. I could be wrong. I I will do some more research on it. But on the other hand, for like BTS being exploited, I think they're being used to fulfill a bigger picture that is bigger than them and literally everybody around them. Because like, you know, with the love yourself thing being the 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 uh the UN stuff, doing this worldly stuff, them going to the military for Korea, them being literally uh be, them moving the needle. This is the first time I use this word in my life. I heard this the other, the other day. I like this. Them moving the needle for the country of South Korea is bigger than them. So I don't really think they're being exploited in a way. Or maybe they have pushed past the exploitation era to where they can literally just do whatever they want. And the work that they did, the, all that work is literally working for them while they can just take a rest. They can chill. They can do laundry or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like In terms of them being exploited, I don't think it's that malicious. Um, also, but also I kind of think in terms of K-pop, I think that, I think that it's not set in stone for all groups, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I think everything will be, I think everything is being exploited. That's for me, but I feel like there's different degrees to the exploitation. And that's when you, that's when you would probably like make your assumptions and everything. I don't know. I'm just using my brain, that the, 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 the brain that the Lord gave me. Are they being forced to be part of BTS forever? The answer they've given multiple times is no. And yeah. they even give logical reasons as to why they are the ones making their own artistic decisions, business decisions, and other personal decisions. The general public doesn't really understand how honest the BTS members have been over the years and mm -hmm. how hard their story in the music industry has been. Unlike mm -hmm. One Direction, BTS speak about their experience as global artists. If they are burned out, they say they are. <laughs> If they are disappointed by an experience in an American show, they talk about it. If they are sad their demos didn't work out, they say it. If they felt that they were taken advantage of because of their fame, they call it out. One mm. Direction, on the other hand, mm. kept all of this to themselves. They were not open to talk about it when it happened. So when they broke up, they started venting non-stop about it. Another difference is how they started. BTS debuted with almost nothing, and they've shared this struggle for years. Mm -hmm. They were living together before and after they debuted, creating a family dynamic more than a work dynamic. One Direction, on the other hand, had almost no time to form true, long-lasting friendships. They were formed on a TV show, and a couple of months later, Later, they were in America promoting their first single. All of this is without counting the massive amount of racism that BTS received in America. People mm -hmm. were screaming racist insults to their faces in red carpets. All of these struggles from starting from nothing to feeling like aliens in the industry. We're like aliens to the 
um, music industry um, for America. Has made the BTS members want to fight the fight as a group because as a group they feel stronger while the One Direction members feel trapped. But many non-fans are still skeptic and I think they are skeptic because they see BTS as a boy band like One Direction or because they see BTS as an exploited K-pop group. And for those people, I hope this answers your doubts. It's public knowledge that the seven BTS members have renegotiated their contracts. But even with their old contracts, the BTS members always had more power in making their own decisions than the majority of K-pop acts. And she just she just put the, she just put the nail on the head. They literally had power in making their own decisions. That's probably the kill shot right there. That's probably, I'm gonna be honest, that's probably. The secret concoction, you know, the Powerpuff Girls secret concoction that literally gave, that literally got them to where they are. From the beginning, they were able to make their own decisions. Even though there were business decisions made by the higher ups, but at the end of the day, they were making their own decisions. There you go. And even with all of those existing liberties, it's assumed that their new contract gives them even more liberties and power. And it can be assumed that their label accepted this compromise because BTS built that company basically from, from the ground. Cut. BTS made the small Korean independent label Big Hit Entertainment become a Hive Corporation, Oof, which now shit. owns multiple labels. God. So despite having offers for many Korean and American labels, BTS chose to stay on their once a small label because they are now looking for longevity as BTS. That's literally saying, now don't forget where you came from, Monica. And this can only come by having full power in their artistic decisions and not exhausting themselves by touring non-stop and producing one or more albums every year. We don't know what this new BTS contract says, but by the way the members talk about it, many assume that it gives them the freedom to slow down. So BTS having a schedules program for 2025 <coughs> and 2030 does not mean that they are being exploited or they are overworking themselves. Planet. They are actually getting closer to a healthier schedule. No more tours non-stop. No more to albums releases a year and no more crazy exhaustion like their past schedules because that was what killed One Direction and BTS want to prevent that. Yeah. Make it move, let it ride. I honestly find everyone's response to BTS <coughs> hiatus kind of interesting and funny. One Direction left such a big trauma in fandoms and pop culture that BTS cannot even say the word hiatus without everyone freaking out. The mm. first time they talk about the hiatus, That's many translators me. said that it was actually a mistranslation and the word they said was actually rest. Then Jungkook had to go live to explain that they were not going on a hiatus and then their label clarified that it was a rest from group activities. But just literally cleaning all this shit like, you say, bitch, we didn't say that. We didn't mean that. Y'all niggas dumb. Y'all dumb as hell. Y'all thought we was finna go on hiding. You thought we was like them niggas? No, boy, no. I think it doesn't matter what you want to call it. A group's hiatus is a rest from group activities. Yeah. But BTS had to use another word because One Direction lied and changed the meaning of hiatus. <laughs> a real hiatus is BTS's rest from group activities. BTS re-signed their BTS contract. But One Direction and that there's BTS solo projects are still considered BTS projects but the One Direction solo projects are not part of One Direction when the BTS members are performing solo they call their fans army first I want to say my fans army but when the One Direction members perform solo, they don't call their fans Directioners. Damn. So stop saying that's what One Direction said when it comes to BTS's rest. Because their situations are completely different. BTS's rest is inevitable. And if there's something BTS has always done, it's keep their promises. So support BTS's solo projects in this new BTS chapter. And I let's you, welcome Kuh. them as a group again in 2020. I got you, Kuh. I got you, Kuh. video hey i'm not gonna hold you i did not know that the one direction thing see this is why we need Boris city in our lives the rest of my life that was beautiful okay well at the end of the day i don't really know how i was when the um the the, the hiatus video came up i know i was crying but i don't really think i actually believe that they were gonna break up for real because like it, it seemed like it was so it was so much stuff stacked against each other and I don't know in all honesty and I'm glad like I'm glad I'm loving I'm loving this 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 uh this you know this direction they're going in this one direction they're going in.
<laughs> but at the same time, bro, like I said before, rest is needed. You need to have rest, bro. And shout out to BTS for staying honest throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna be honest. I use them. I use them as like inspiration because I be wanting to be honest with y'all niggas all the time, and it be getting me in trouble, or at least be transparent. It be getting me in trouble a lot. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it get me in trouble because I don't know. What they say, honesty is the best policy. I guess I don't know. But at the same time, this was a good video. Fuck Ethan Klein, and um, yeah. Hope you have a good day. Ha, 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 ha.